What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the New Age Fryer or their version of a Legend Scale Swoop. So I got this from Matt Partformer. Thanks for allowing me to take a look at your copy. And it is a really cool version of Swoop. And yes, it can stand up on its legs unlike a lot of Swoops that we've gotten in the past. Uh, you have a posable heel and toe. So you can just balance it. I have an uneven surface here and even I'm able to balance it so that tells you it's pretty well well balanced. We got a lot of nice paint on this guy, but before we get started, before I forget, there is a tail on this guy. So if you fold back this piece there, you'll have that nice little tail. And that's easy to overlook, so I just wanted to point that out now because otherwise you might forget it. Um, I do see a little, I don't know, blemish there on the underneath side of the tail, but you do have some nice blue paint, metallic blue across there, gray and silver paints here, light gray for the wings, metallic yellow for the beak, metallic blue, or I guess it's regular blue for the eye, and then red for the head crest, red paint back here, red and blue which we'll see in the robot mode, and then the yellow here for the feet and the shins. Overall a very nice looking version. Get some nice articulation as well. The neck goes up to there, down to there. The head also can rotate down and all the way back up. You have a side to side movement there on the neck, on a hinge. You can open up the mouth here and it does have like sculpted teeth in there. That looks pretty good. There is a adapter here and that adapter appears to, there's going to be a flame effect or something, maybe with a different version of this guy. This one doesn't come with a flame effect. So I even tried the blast effect here. That doesn't fit on this. So I'm guessing they're giving you a different one that fits this later on. Uh, but pretty cool that you can attach that. I don't know if a other standard one will fit there. For the wings, you have three hinges. You have one at the base that goes up to there and down to there. This one goes down to there and then up straight up to there. And then this one goes down there and all the way back for transformation. For the feet, you can rotate the foot forward to there and the heel can go down. Or you can go back for a flight kind of pose. You can pose it back like that. I think that makes sense. And the tail can go up and down on that joint. As far as the accessories, you do get these very nicely painted and sculpted missiles. Red, gunmetal, yellow, and then light gray plastic. And those will plug into the wings, of course. And you can have that look. And you get two of those. And what they've done uniquely here is have blast effects for those. So you can unplug the little tip, grab that blast effect I showed you earlier, plug that into the end, and then you can plug this into here. And now you've got that firing missile effect, which I think is really cool. Uh, it looks even better if you do both, just because of symmetry, but that is really cool. I really think that's a nice touch. I don't think I've seen a swoop with this kind of thing. Uh, but you can take it a step further and you can bring in the flight stand here. So it's just a two-piece flight stand. It says New Age there on the bottom. And Matt did warn me this is, you know, a little bit uh, fragile. It can crack. I haven't seen any issues so far, but I'm not going to mess with it too much. But if you come to the bottom here, you'll see there's a little slot right there in between the hip skirts. And you can plug that piece right into here. And now he can be flying along on that flight stand. I think that's just such a cool way to display him with those blast effects and everything. You know, it really, it really looks nice. And for quick size comparison, there it is with the New Age Firefox, their version of Skyfire. I figured I'd compare it to another flying figure. And uh, but actually, he has a little bit longer of a wingspan. About the same width across the body, but obviously a shorter nose. The Jetfire comes out further. Uh, but nice size 
overall on the uh, dino mode here. All right, now let's get Fire transformed into the robot mode, and it's a relatively simple and fun transformation. Go ahead and lift up the head, and we'll start here on the legs on the back. Unpeg them from the back. There's a little tab right here. Fold that in. You can lift up on the heel. This is going to fold down. It's on a soft ratchet there. And then this heel is going to work its way into the knee. You're going to straighten up the hip. Just bring this down and tab that in. So it should be nice and straight. Open up this panel. Open up the heels and the get the toe out of here. I recommend a spudger just to get in there. Makes it a little bit easier. And then come to the side here. There's a little tab to grab onto. Fold out the heel spur. Close up the foot or the uh, shin and that's one done. So go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Right now we got both legs done. We can work on the upper body. Go ahead and you're going to unpeg these panels tabbed into the arms. And that will allow you to take the arms and lift those out. These are going to come to the side. Just rotate them to the side. You're going to take this entire chest panel that's going to accordion down like that. And then these are going to peg into the side of those. You can bring this head panel down. It's actually going to tab in. There's a tab right here for the neck. So we'll get that pegged in. Uh, the head separated from the bird head, but you can bring that down. These two tabs are going to work their way in. Getting them out is a little bit harder, so I would just recommend a spudger to get them out, but pushing them in, you can just use a spudger to push them in, or your finger, whatever. All right, so it should look like that. And we'll take care of the backpack, come to here, open up this panel, that'll get accordion the backpack up, and fold that down. These are going to accordion back onto his backpack. So fold it up like that. Same on this one. Holds up nicely. Come to the front, we're going to accordion down the arm, and then you're going to open up, rotate the arm, and then open up this hand. And it's a little bit tough because it, it's nothing really to grab onto and it doesn't lock in place. But. All right, and there he is in robot mode. And man, it looks so good. It's got some paint on it. The Like I said earlier, the blue surfaces dark blue and the lighter blue and the red are all paint. Yellow here on the thighs and the knees is painted. A little bit of darker gray paint. This is all paint, red paint there. Feet, uh, I think the feet are just plastic. The wings are fully painted. I mean, it really, really looks good. Let's go over the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. It's all the way up. All the way down, due to the neck joint, you can lift up the neck and you can get further down. That's just very, very smart. Rotation and side to side out of that. Shoulders go up to there, but you can also lift up on that joint. So some really nice movement there. Rotation at the bicep. Double jointed elbow gets you the full bend. You have a rotation at the um, hand. It tends to go in sometimes, so you just have to watch out for that. But Rotation at the wrist. You do have ab waist rotation and ab crunch, but you have to get the beak out of the way. So you can just rotate it and then get it back down. Um, but I think that's smart that they did it that way so that you could still get the articulation, but you get way down to there. I mean, it really, it really works. For legs, you have a hip skirt here. They'll get out of the way. Legs go up to there. Back to there, hindered by the wing. You can't get the wing out of the way. Out to the side, rotation at the thigh. All these tolerances are really nice. Double jointed knee gets you the full bend there. There is this little piece that has to go back in there, but not a big deal. You have ankle tilt and pivot back and forth. Now as far as the accessories, you get the same stuff that we got in the dyno mode. You can mount these here. I think it kind of looks better with these on the wings. So you can do that, it looks really nice. You can also use these as guns, of course, and 
I recommend holding the bottom of the hand as you plug it in, otherwise it will fold downwards on you. There's no lock on these hands, but that looks really good. You can use the blast effect here in the robot mode, but I do think it's a little bit on the long side. It just looks better with the dyno mode, but you can do that if you want. I just think uh, a little bit awkward. But either way, nice options there for the weapon. We can also swap out the hands here. And you're just going to pull open here. I recommend holding the top of this so you can plug in these open hands. And it's a little tricky because you've got to hold this while plugging in, but you can do it. And those look pretty good. We'll swap out both. Get the arms up like this. Because the head can rotate all the way up, you could do this. And you can have him in this kind of flight. And you can sort of get him on the stand. You have to kind of trick it. So lift up on the neck and then lift back on this. That makes a little gap there. And then you can take the flight stand, plug it in right here. It's not ideal, but you can get it right there. Then you can put this back down just to make it look like he's still together. And now you can have him flying through the air. I think I was off camera a little bit, but you can have him flying through the air like that. That's a pretty cool option. And for a quick size comparison, there is next to the New Age Optimus Prime. Very similar in height, but he just is bigger and bulkier. And it really kind of works, at least for me. So final recommendations on the New Age Fryer. I really like this thing. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. Strong recommendation. They really did a good job on this. This is probably the best swoop I've handled or I've seen in my history doing this. They just did everything right. They got the robot mode, proportions, and articulation right. The accessories are really nice. I love the addition of the blast effects here. Very unique. Haven't seen this before on a swoop. And it just makes the dyno mode more fun. The flight stand works in all three, on both modes, and it's just an additional thing to make your display look nice. I really have no complaints. Even the transformation is fun and intuitive. I actually don't think I ever open the instructions because it's just that easy. So definitely recommend it if you are looking for a legend scale swoop. This is definitely the one. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Matt Partformer for sending us for review. We'll see you next time.